Do you worry any about the state of the nation or the world? What if the solution is something everyone has the power to contribute to? And what if all it takes is you making small changes in yourself? And not only will these changes make the world a better place, but also these changes will increase your own personal happiness. So whether you end up changing the world or not, you end up becoming a person who has deeper relationships. You may want to change the world by changing governments, corporations, academia, etc. All of those entities are made up of people. Changing or destroying those entities is not easy. What's easier? Changing yourself. Most of us have been raised to communicate on a surface level, to be nice, to, to lie, to ignore our feelings and needs. This has many negative side effects. But what I want to talk about here and now is not the problem, but the solution. Okay. We've all heard this before, so it may sound like a cliche. Stay tuned, because this is important. I believe the solution to all of our problems is communication. There are many communication techniques out there. In my 22 years of studying communication, intently studying it, one of these techniques has shown itself to be more effective than any other I've found. It's called nonviolent communication, or NVC. You don't have all day, so I'll sum it up. Language of responsibility creates reduction of victim mentality and an increase of holding self accountable. What does this lead to? It leads to an increase in each person doing their best for intrinsic reasons. In other words, doing it because they want to, not because they've been or shamed or guilted into doing it. This leads to an increase in self-reliance. Okay, so how does this affect the world? For the world, each person ends up contributing more at a higher quality. Okay, so that's just one piece of NVC. Here's another. Language of empathy. Okay, what does this create? Increased awareness of your feelings and needs, of other people's feelings and needs. And what does this lead to? Increased understanding and compassion communication efficiency, which is a result of decreased friction, increase in trust and desire to share. Okay, For the world, each person contributes more and works better with others. So here's another piece, language of positivity. Okay, And I'm not talking about ignore all the negative, fear the negative, never say anything bad. Okay, Here's what I'm talking about, practice of restating negatives as positives. For example, you don't appreciate me enough becomes I want you to tell me that you appreciate me. Do you see the difference? I'm asking for what I want rather than attacking somebody for not giving me what I want, which is going to get me what I want more often. What does this give us? It increases our honesty, our confidence, and more often get our needs met. How does this help the world? Each person contributes more when they come from a place of being happy and fulfilled. And yay, this also contributes to an abundance mentality. Finally, language of value judgment. Okay, So what we're doing, we're practicing shifting moral judgment into value judgment. It's not hard to do. Here's an example. Your religious practices are wrong. Therefore, I'm going to blow up your country or post something annoying on your Facebook wall. Okay, Here's what we shift it to. Here's how we turn that moral judgment by saying something is wrong. Here's how we turn that into a value judgment. Your religious practices are different than mine. Do you see the difference? Increased acceptance, peace, communication efficiency due to reduced friction. Again, how does this help the world? Peace, less wars, less to fight over because we're accepting that something is different. Imagine a world of people who communicate like this. Even if a fraction of us communicate in this manner, will governments or corporations be able to take advantage of people who are so in touch with their needs and feelings? People who are so well practiced at asking for what we want. Remember, those governments and corporations are made up of people. If even a fraction of those people have shifted their thinking to a language of compassion? Will they be motivated to take advantage of you? Or will they be more likely to empathize and listen to you? Okay, so let's be realistic here. 
not everybody is going to practice this, okay? Not everybody wants to change their language. Not everybody believes that it'll do any good, okay? So, what if not enough people practice it? What if you put your time and energy into shifting your language this way and it doesn't save the world? It still helped you. All of your relationships become easier and deeper. It's worth it.